and I'm just gonna go creek hopping here, a little in uh, north central Florida. Um, some spots that I saw on the map. Uh, there were some folks that were just here. They left, so they caught a brim. Don't really know what that means. Uh, bluegill, basically any lapomus, basically. Uh, sunfish. Uh, it looks outstanding. It's a little shallow. Uh, it, it seems a little shallow, but that can be pretty outstanding. Um, just gonna see what I can find here. Of course, the last few places I were, I was, uh, I, uh, I was fishing. Uh, also looked outstanding and that didn't really work out well. Well, I predict this will be the quickest stop today. Um, you know, unless I come upon a very lucky little spat of micros here. Um, highly unlikely. Oh, for crying out loud, man, I need to dock octopus to get this bobber undone, man. Oh, there's a bite. Much like most of the places I'm going today, I have scouted this out. And uh, it does, it is supposed to be um, a home of many micro species that I don't have. Here's something that's really cool looking. Oh my gosh, look how dark that thing is. Oh, I meant to say at the beginning of this trip, I'm after two species in particular, flyer and mud sunfish. Boom, there it is, the flyer. Life species off the list. Second set. Look at how beautiful that fish is. Look at the outline of those fins. It's so gorgeous. I had no idea it would be that beautiful green like that. Everywhere? I mean, obviously it's going to be a little different everywhere you go. Oh my gosh, that's, that's iridescent. That is amazing. Look at that. I'm going to take it on both sides. First ever flyer. Thank you also, uh, well, Fish, for fanning out your fins for me. Goodness, that's beautiful. He is a little fighter, too. Look at that dude. All right, man. So... Um, wow, that's the first and only fish of the day so far. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Never caught one before. No, I can't say that. And you know what? I'll put him over here. Oh, nice shot, dumbass. I stuck to my hand. I mean, I love to get new species, but I mean, you're targeting. I was, I, I wish I would have introed with uh, targeting flyer and mud sunfish, um, and you know, I'm, I'm fishing where I am specifically for those two species, and you know, some other supposed to be other micros here. Second spot, second set. I gotta bite the first set. That's probably a little mosquito fish, but let's see. Oh, oh. had him. So, yep, another flyer. That's number two. Oh, that's beautiful. But that was a different bite. That was a take the bobber down. Oh, he was darker even. I would like to have seen him up close. That was just really, oh, oh, wow. Took it right under. This is another flyer, or? No, I don't know what this is. What is that? It's gotta be a spotted sunfish, I guess. What is that? I can only imagine this is just a really dark face spotted sunfish. I don't know. I mean, the back of him there is very purple. Um, it's not a warm mouth. I don't know what it is. 
I'll flare those, yeah, I'll flare those back fins a little. Alright, well, let's... Interesting, let's count the, uh... Oh. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm gonna assume the spotted sunfish. Could be a spotted fly, is purple in there? No spots at all. One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 1, 2, don't be shy, 3, 10 and 3, yeah, I don't see any other, seems to be lines going that way, purple iridescence under there, goodness, I don't know, might end up calling that a flyer spotted hybrid, if I can't find any more help online, that was awesome, that sucker, I mean, again, that was not what, uh, was nibbling over there. I want to get what was nibbling too, because that was probably a shiner that I've never caught. There we go. There we go. Oh, this is a big one of something. Oh, what is it? It's another really. Uh, it's a flyer. <laughs> it's hard to identify because I can't see them. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, not uh, because I'm not used to them. Oh, see, the green is still there, but not. it's a little lighter. You can see the spots a little better on this one. Oh, man. Whew, look at that. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I guess I could just measure it, huh? I've got the tape right here. Right, the first one, I don't know what it was, but that was not as big as this one, so I'm going to say... Stretches out, that would be five and a half stretching out. Yeah, say five and a half. Oh, beautiful fish. It's gorgeous. Never caught these fish before. So cool. Such a cool looking fish. The stripe across the eye is so awesome. Uh, let's put you there. All right. And, uh, you know, if I haven't sung the praises of the red worm as a, uh, as a hardy bait to use for micro fishing or even macro fishing for bluegill and even small bass, um, let me toot the horn now because, man, I mean, all these fish here, I mean, there's four, three flyers, assuming that one that flopped off is a flyer and whatever that third fish was. And uh, I haven't lost a single hint of the, the little red worm pieces I had on there to start with. This is not urban fishing, but as you can hear, I am right next to a major highway. It's one of those things where you just drive past uh, an incredible fishing spot either daily or monthly. Uh, for me, it'd be several times a year uh, and had no idea it was even here. Another really cool thing about catching a flyer is that it's another species of sunfish this year. And I have caught over a dozen different species of sunfish in this calendar year, which is by far a personal best. Alright, so part of being a, a stupid person is that you give yourself very poor directions to get somewhere. Just assuming, since you are you, you'll remember what you were thinking at the time. And you get there and you're like, what the crap was I thinking? So I have no earthly idea if this is the right place. This seems like not the right place. Uh, but it does seem like a very interesting place. I mean, tell me this doesn't look amazing for micro fishing. Very swampy. Oh yeah, there's a little bite, there's a little bite. A little niblet. That's what I want, I want to nibble. A little micro fish nibble, not 
Come back out. Oh, oh man. The fishing pressure here is absolute zero. It's impossible for there to be any fishing pressure here. I'm probably the first fisherman to be here this decade. Very frustrating. my third fourth wire and I think this one breaks like that beautiful fish uh, if this doesn't break the size of my last one uh, PB it certainly matches it I would think I can see now why they call them flyers these fins uh, spanning out like that that is that looks like wings you know not the Paul McCartney kind. Uh, love, take me down to the street. But, um, let's see what we got here. Six, oh, my mic is taken off too. Six inches on this flyer. I gotta go, thank you. And I got another one. Not quite as large. Wow, you know, this is where I wanted to come for flyers, this, these little creeks here. And boy, howdy. You know, the more I look at these flyers, when I was looking, oh, look at the spots on that guy. Gorgeous, man. The spot pattern is just so unique. Um, on the sunfish. Um, the, uh, Being able to come here and you know target a species. I didn't actually, you know, I hadn't documented flyers being caught in any of these waters. These were just areas where, uh, you know, like I said before, the part of the country that they live in, or they are said to live in, and uh, I just identified where the most likely habitat is for them. And target it. All right, I'm gonna try to work my way around there. See if I can uh, target something there, and then and head to the next spot. Um, yeah, because I'm on a I'm on a kind of a rapid fire mission, and these are awesome. But I need to go to the next spot. <laughs> there he is again. Pop it. Yeah. Man, this is Flyer Central, man. All right. These are such beautiful fish. I mean, none of the pictures you see uh, do them justice at all. No, I've seen, you know, because they're always drawn. Um, and you know, the illustrations are never as vivid. Aquas and greens. I'm sure part of it has to do uh, with this Florida water, but um, my goodness. Uh, another beautiful fish, man. I'll say one more on either pole. And then I'll go try that one by the stump one more time and then I'll be enough. All right, I got the, uh, while I was putting my micro back together, got this guy, uh, who I, d I think is actually a bluegill. No, yeah, no stripe on the face. The, got the, uh, the bars top to bottom. Huh, interesting. It's the third species of the day, then. Interesting. I mean, it could be a flyer, though. I mean, I'm going to check it out. Uh, it doesn't seem to have the same fin structure as a flyer, though. It doesn't have the same spots. It doesn't have the stripe on the face. It has a few similarities, but I believe what we have here is a bluegill. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spines on the back it has no um doesn't have any blue gill though which is a little strange uh, um kind of has a blue gill 
Yeah, there's no stripe on the face. Cool. Alright, well, I said I was going to catch one more, but... Uh, kind of wide, because the one more was supposed to be a flyer. Not a bluegill. Let's see if this one is a flyer. No, it is a spotted sunfish. I think. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it a mud sunfish or a spotted? Uh, I think it's just a spotted with a really weird, really bizarre body shape. Goodness, look at that. Holy crap, you know what that is? That's that's a spotted sunfish, but that's that is uh, that's a flyer fin pattern and a flyer diamond shaped body. We got a little hybrid here. This is a flyer. Yeah, those are not a. That's not the fins of a, of a spotted sunfish. But those are the markings of a spotted sunfish. Wow, and look how fat he is. Goodness gracious. I'm glad I threw that back in again. Look at that. So cool. I've had so many hybrid sunfish this year. That's bizarre, man. Absolutely bizarre. That is really cool. Yeah, no, that's a flyer body with a spotted sunfish face. Spotted sunfish uh, markings, especially down there, the flyer. Uh, the fins. That is just, that is one cool looking fish. Man, the way these guys hybridize together. You know, I mean, it's a little difficult to hybridize separately. So yeah, it's, they're together. There we go. It's another flyer. All right. Now I'm just gonna try my micro here. I'm gonna take off. Yeah, see there. Oh, beautiful fish. Such a beautiful fish. Hey, this is a fish I never, I actually, one of many, I guess, get to a point where you just think you're never going to catch one. Because I've been fishing for so many years in states that are said to have these fish native and you never see them. Never even heard of them being caught. I mean, that literally book. Another one. This one uh, might be a bluegill, though. Yes, it is. Really pretty bluegill. Purple body bluegill. All right, man. I love that I came to the wrong place here. That. Uh, yeah, it's like the other one. I'm going to have to look those up. I'm going to have to examine them a little better. Um, I'm, I'm calling them bluegill right now. They could be bluegill flyer hybrids. I think I'm just being a little, a little uh, fooled by the uh, darkness, the similarity in the darkness of the, uh, the profile here. Somebody, oh, 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 I just reeled it right out of his mouth. Hit it. And I probably just spooked him out. Oh, no, it didn't. Ah, pretty little flyer. Oh, he's so aquamarine. Ah, oh, lovely color there. Look at that. Oh, so gorgeous. So beautiful. Just a beautiful species of fish. Certainly here, the dark stained waters. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, that might be why my macro rod wasn't in action. Come on, take a ride. Oh, look at the fight. A nice big one for a flyer. Oh, pretty. Oh, this one's got very few stripes. Not really any, you know, the spotted stripes. Oh, look at the 
iridescent green on the eye as I cover it up in the shade of my hand. Look at that eye, man. That is awesome. Oh, that's the most colorful one yet. I don't know if that's uh, the angle. Look at that fish. So gorgeous. All right. Go give that little stump a try. And is it going to have to be on there? Yes. I don't want him to get... It was too shallow for him to take the bobber down. He was just going sideways. Look at the size of this sucker. I think this is a flyer. It's looking, it looks very, uh, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, man. The color on that thing. This might match the biggest one so far. It's going to be very close. Look at that. I mean, I guess everyone is sort of in the same color scheme, but, uh, Every one of them is just amazing to me. It seems like that uh, color scheme changes a little bit time to time. Right, I'm out. So right, that's the zero on the lip. And it is. It's six and a half. <laughs> All right. PB again. Three in one day. Sweet. First of a species and then top the size twice uh, in the same hour, really. All right. And only out of curiosity am I going to go try that stump again, just in case it's a non species that isn't one of these.